In this work, we'll present the first capacitive multi-touch sensor, which remains working after being cut. This enables the users to easily tailor the sensor to their specific needs. People have always cut traditional materials for customizing them on the fly, for instance paper, cardboard or cloth. Advances in printed electronics now make it possible to add electronic circuitry to these materials. However, if cut, in almost all cases the electronic functionality breaks. We propose a novel paradigm for printed electronics. Make it robust to cutting. This allows people to modify the shape of materials also when electronics are embedded. For instance, we envision an adhesive sensor foil. End users can cut this foil to virtually any shape and size to fit onto the object. This enables multi-touch input on real-world objects and surfaces. For instance, users can make their personal items or their furniture interactive. We also envision that the sensor is embedded in raw materials, such as paper, cardboard or plywood. This enables people to create interactive models, prototypes and paper craft, which support multi-touch input. In a conventional touch sensor, a set of electrodes is arranged in a regular two-dimensional grid. Each electrode senses one touch point. The electrodes are connected to a connector with a set of horizontal and vertical wires. The grid is not robust to cuts and remove parts. Consider two wires got damaged. Since each wire addresses many electrodes, damage of a wire results in large areas that are not sensitive anymore. We introduce novel physical wiring topologies for overcoming this problem. The first layout follows the geometry of a star. The connector, which is used to tether the sensor sheet with the controller, is placed in the center. Wires extends radially to the electrodes. The sensor is printed on flexible substrate using conductive ink. To guide the user, the front side features lines that act as abstract representation of the underlying topology. This topology supports a large variety of shapes, including triangles, rectangles and ellipses. We propose a simple calibration step to normalize sensor readings from partially cut electrodes. Due to its star topology, the sensor remains functional and supports multi-touch input. In the G-topology, all electrodes are orthogonally connected to one stream of wires, which is then connected to the controller. The G topology supports shapes that are not supported by the star and vice versa. The multi-touch sensor remains functional. The shape can be further refined and still supports multi-touch input. Since different topologies each have their own unique strength and drawbacks, combining them adds valuable redundancy and geometric robustness. In this example, we combine a star topology with a tree topology. This allows for more complex shapes. Again, a multi-touch input is supported. The robustness of the sensor can be further increased by connecting each electrode with two redundant wires. While this requires the double amount of wires, we contribute a novel coding scheme that requires a smaller number of redundant wires. It is inspired from forward error correction, which is used for robust transmission of data in computer networks. Let's have a look at two electrodes. Each electrode has its own wire. In addition, one shared redundant wire is added to both electrodes. If the user touches an electrode, its capacitance value can be read both at the direct wire and at the shared redundant wire. If both electrodes are touched, the value adds up. This is because both electrodes act as parallel capacitors. To avoid that the shared wire creates a short circuit between both electrodes, we used an interdigitated design for the electrodes. Results from an evaluation show that many convex cutouts such as rectangles, triangles and ellipses are well supported both by the star and the tree topology. The star topology performs slightly better than the tree and results in coverage rates of more than 95%, no matter where the cutout is exactly placed on the sensor or how it is scaled and rotated. More complex shapes such as carve-outs and connectors are less well supported by these basic topologies. Their coverage can be increased by combining several topologies. If the shape is placed on the sensor sheet at a fixed location and orientation, even complex shapes are supported with an average of more than 90%.